Welcome back to another MLB video, and in this video, we have three things to discuss. Number one, a little update on the Trevor Bauer situation, and then we have some trade deadline talk as a star player could possibly be on the move to the West, and then the Padres, they still are going after some more talent, even after getting Adam Frazier, they are not done there, they're really making the World Series push. So first, for the Trevor Bauer update. Bauer has been on administrative leave for nearly a month now, and soon we'll be hearing what's next for Bauer's future, as uncertain as it is. In this time, with him gone, we've gotten reports from the LA Times that are saying Bauer is a pariah in his own clubhouse where no teammate has spoken publicly about him or come to his defense with any of this. And to go further, a majority of players do not want Bauer back under any circumstances, even if everything allows him to play legally at some point. It seems almost impossible for Bauer to return to the LA Dodgers, and honestly, it's hard to see him playing anywhere as of now. This offseason, when they signed him, they figured that his Cy Young caliber pitching would outweigh his reputation, but now it's the opposite, as his bad reputation and legal situation is by far outweighing anything he has done on the field. This has just turned into his mess, as his teammates don't want him back under any circumstances, and that's a majority of the clubhouse too. That's a lot of guys that have been getting to know him for a while now over this season and the whole offseason as well. So let me know your thoughts on this. What will happen with this Bauer situation? Right now, if the Dodgers don't want him back and another team signs him, that's just going to give that other team a bad reputation. So I just don't see any way in the very near future at all that Trevor Bauer plays Major League Baseball. The Seattle Mariners currently have the longest playoff drought of any North American sports franchise at an even 20 years right now. That's right, 20. They've been turning some heads this year, though, looking a little ahead of schedule in their most recent rebuild with some of their younger guys stepping up. We've been hearing some rumors over the past couple weeks that they can look to add at the trade deadline or at least not be complete sellers. But now that may be coming into a reality as this weekend was a huge series for them. They made a statement and took three out of four over their rival Oakland A's, who not only are their division rivals, but they also are currently the team they're chasing for a wild card spot. Now they move to just one and a half games back, so it's looking a lot more realistic after this series. Maybe some people don't believe in them, but one and a half games, you can just outplay them by two games for the rest of the year, and it's their spot to win. We heard that they were in on Adam Frazier and made an offer for him, but now since he was traded to the Padres, we're hearing that they they are making a push, a strong push, to acquire all-star Whit Merrifield from the Royals. He gives you some versatility. He can play second base. He can play outfield. He's on the team-friendly contract and is under control through 2023 for just about $10 million a year. He also led the MLB in hits in 2018 and 2019. So this wouldn't be a complete rental because maybe they're not going all for it this year as obviously if they made the playoffs this year, it would be a huge win for their franchise. It would shock a ton of people. But what it could do it could give them a piece that will help them the second half of this year and when they want to be contending over the next year or two he can be there for them as well and then they could always flip him for something else if they keep him and then they want to trade him at some point if he doesn't fit their window but either way this would be fun to see them go for it as if we see a wild card race with the Mariners A's and maybe we see the Blue Jays or even the Yankees make a push that could be some fun baseball to end the season for the last story of this video, it's about the Padres. Last night, they went out and got an all-star second baseman, or he could be in the outfield, Adam Frazier. But now, apparently, they are focused on the pitching side, as you can never have too much pitching, and in particular, they're looking at starting pitching. The Padres, they have you Darvish. Blake Snell, he struggled a little this year. Joe Musgrove, he's been a solid option, but guys like Denelson Lamette have been struggling with some injuries, so he's been in the bullpen more, and Chris Paddock doesn't look like he can give you the length that you might hope out of some starting pitching. So it looks like they're looking at guys like Jose Barrios, Kenta Maeda from the Twins. Apparently talks are heating up with Barrios with both the Dodgers and Padres, so you definitely don't want your division rival to steal that over you. And then guys from the Rangers like Jordan Lyles and Kyle Gibson. And then there's other guys like the Rockies, John Gray, Royals, Danny Duffy. He's on the injured list now, so we don't know how that will affect things. And then obviously they'll be in 
in on some of the top reliever options as well. Craig Kimbrell, he seems like he's going to be the top prize possession for bullpen help. So let me know what you guys think. Who will the Padres get on the pitching front? Apparently they're targeting starting pitching, but they're in line to make some more big moves, and Adam Frazier was just the start for them.